the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 144 Psalms 28 to 33 Anger is temporary, grace is forever. David always experienced God in his life who was a true protector and refuge and put this assurance and faith in his songs. First point, David asked God to hear his cry. David likely prayed the same prayer in Psalm 28 many times. To you, Lord, I call. You are my rock. Do not turn a deaf ear to me. For if you remain silent, I will be like those who go down to the pit. As David prayed, he cried out in distress. With his enemies constantly trying to bring him down, he cried out in lament and spent many moments in prayer. David managed to keep the country in peace as he always looked to God in difficult situations. Hear my cry for mercy as I call to you for help, as I lift up my hands toward your most holy place. David prayed that he knew the wicked would eventually receive their punishment and that God would make sure that justice is done. Do not drag me away with the wicked, with those who do evil, who speak cordially with their neighbors, but harbor malice in their hearts. They pay them for their deeds and for their evil work. They pay them for what their hands have done and bring back on them what they deserve. David claimed that a characteristic of the wicked is that they lie. Also, they have a hate in their hearts. David cried out to God to punish such people. David also sang for the righteous people. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Second point, David sang that God's anger is temporary and his grace is forever. In Psalm chapter 30, David said, Lord, ten times. David wished to sing praise to God who protected him at all times. David relied on God no matter his circumstances. David confessed that God made his sadness into dance and his sacrosis disappeared with his mercy. David sang that God always brought joy to him, and that he was grateful for God's wisdom. There was one point when David made God angry through his arrogance, but David confessed that God's anger is temporary, and his grace is forever. We must remember that God sometimes disciplines us, but this is an act of His great love. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline and do not resent His rebuke, because the Lord disciplines those He loves. As a father, the son He delights in. David is son of God's grace and mercy. You turned my wailing into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy that my heart may sing your praises and not be silent. Lord my God, I will praise you forever. Third point, David confessed that his days are in the hands of God. David confessed that God's anger was nothing compared to his great grace. David encouraged the people to trust in God who delivers them from evil and always gives courage and wisdom. But I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies, from those who pursue me. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your unfailing love.
In the most desperate situation, David prayed to God to ask for help. He prayed to God to deliver him from the hands of his enemies. During such circumstances, David sang that his life and spirit are in God's hands. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Deliver me, Lord, my faithful God. This was David confessing that his life was God's. Later, Stephen referred to David's prayer. While they were stoning him, Stephen prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Fourth point, David sang that the one who receives forgiveness for their faults is blessed. David referred to faults and sins in Psalm chapter 32. David said that if he opened his mouth, then all he could do was mourn. However, there is a hope for those who confess their sins and faults to God. God will bless them and forgive those people. David wrote this after committing the sin of killing Uriah. David wrote of his repentance and how he was grateful for forgiveness. David advised that no matter how embarrassing one's fault is, it was important to repent to God. David himself repented with tears, so God forgave him. Through this, David was able to return to God. Fifth point, God makes people's ideologies poetries. The writer of Psalm chapter 33 is anonymous, but some believe that it was written by David. The psalmist sang whilst remembering how God protected them through their life. The psalmist praised God and wished to glorify God. The right had experienced life in the army and days of hunger. He wrote that through all this, God helped him, and that he was able to find peace and hope in God. God does not neglect or forget about his people. God is righteous, trustful, just, and full of grace. God is the creator of the heavens and the earth. God looks after all human beings and grants them salvation. God is the God of salvation and mercy. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 